Yeah. So I've been with the club. This is actually my 22nd year, which is, which is amazing to me. The club was started in 1996 by one of the nicest guys you've ever met. His name is Mike Brown, um, started the club, um, up behind the Duncan Chapel elementary school. And, um, I got involved about 22 years ago as a volunteer recreational coach. And, um, 22 years later, this is what I do vocationally. And, um, I uh, really enjoy every second of it. You know, I, I love the game and love working with kids and that enjoyment um, of those two things have, have resulted in a, a very fulfilling career that has lasted me a long time here with the club. So um, really enjoy what we do over here. Yeah. And, and then what, I mean, what does the overall big picture look like soccer club wise in the upstate? Yeah, you mentioned earlier, just what a great soccer community we have. And, and you're right. I mean, I, I would estimate somewhere between 7,500 and 8,500 kids playing soccer in the the greater Greenville area, which is a huge number. I mean, in our community, um, you've got several great clubs. Carolina Elite does a great job in the southern part of the community. We're kind of the club in the northern part of the community. You've got some that are a little closer to um, Spartanburg, uh, CFC. Right. There are other clubs kind of in the easily Clemson area. So you've got a number of organizations around. Um, a lot of them are geographically driven, you know, for the younger kids, especially it's kind of their, the, the area that they're in. Um, but just, amazing soccer community uh, from top to bottom. Yeah. Um, well, we're going to um, get into it, uh, a, you know, even even more. But, uh, um, you know, people may not even realize that now's the time to be starting to think about fall soccer, right? We're just now getting done with, with school and getting ready about going vacation. Um, but this is the time of year where people need to start thinking about fall soccer, right? Yeah, it is. And it's, it's so much earlier than everybody ever realizes. You know, um, we, we register in the months of June and July. We start programming in in early August is when kind of the teams are forming and most of the kids start coming out and practicing right at right, at, right, about, right about when school gets started. So usually the somewhere between the 7th and the 10th of, of August is when we actually get going. So it's so much earlier than people realize, you know, you think fall soccer and you think fall registration. <laughs> and at that point, you're you're on the sidelines. You just can't you can't get into a team. So we we put our signs up on the field so that people know, hey, this is when you register and they can see the banners and see the signs to hopefully prompt some people. But yeah, if people could certainly understand this is when you, if you want to play this fall, this is when you get yourself registered. Yeah. Uh, so tell us, um, you know, where, where, do, where do parents get started? Uh, what does it mean to, to, to get involved in soccer and, and uh, how do things progress once they sign up? Yeah, so our, our foundational program is our recreational program. It's designed to be participatory and fun. And, and if you want to give soccer a try, that's a great place to get started. And we have hundreds and hundreds of kids that start in our program right there at the recreational level. Um, that then progresses for us into a junior academy. So these would be more competitive eight to 12 year olds um, that invest a little bit more, uh, they're a little more time. They're investing in professional coaching, some more, more rigorous competition. So that's kind of a nice progression. So um, a lot of kids come in and play recreational soccer to get started, and then they progress into our junior academy, which is a little more, but not a ton more. It's 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 age appropriate. Um, and then the pinnacle of our program is our select program. And so we have players that that graduate out of our junior academy and start to play select level soccer. Um, and that is even more committed. Now, these are kids that really have an aptitude for the game and they they are enjoying it and their families enjoy it and they are pursuing high school rosters and college rosters and professional rosters. And, and our program does a great job of preparing them for all of those levels. We have kids that have, have made and are incredibly impactful at the high school level, at the, at the collegiate level, and even at the professional level. And so um, it's exciting to watch kids come in at the age of three and four and progress and grow. And, and I said earlier, I've been with the club for 22 years. So, so I've seen a three-year-old come in and I've seen them come out at 19. I've watched them go from yeah. little guy tripping over a ball to highly effective, highly competitive young people that we're just incredibly proud of them. And, and so that progression for us is, in, is important. None of those programs are uh, standalone important. It's not like we're into one or the other. They, right. they, they play off of each other and flow forward uh, through our organization. Yeah. So when you think youth sports, you always think uh, qu quality is something that's important to us. Safety yeah. is something that's important to us, you know, and I, I would echo what you just said about our coaches they're all vetted by the club. I mean, these are people that we get to know when we meet them. You know, it's not just somebody who volunteered and they jump in. So um, we get to know these people. Um, we we background check everybody. That's that's with the kids, of course. You know, in this day and age, you have to be yep. very careful. And we spend a lot of time making sure that the right people are with the kids. Um, and then you mentioned the quality of coaching information. That's always huge for us. You know, Dan, we 
We um, have a club designed curriculum that all of the recreational coaches work off of so that there is a, a coordination with what they're teaching and how they're teaching it. And, and it is participatory. It is just designed to be fun, but we want them to get good, accurate information and a, and a club curriculum with licensed background coaches. That's why you experienced what you did, you know, when you guys first got involved, you could feel that from the coaches.